Welcome to a basic introduction to mechanical ventilation. This is chapter 2.5, breath timing. The final concept to understand before we get into the meat of mechanical ventilation is the respiratory cycle. One respiratory cycle is simply a complete inhalation and exhalation. Now, a normal breath is a short inspiration, which is driven by your respiratory muscles, followed by a prolonged exhalation, which is completely passive. Mechanical ventilators do the same thing, where inspiration is ventilator-driven and exhalation is also passive. There are two related ways in which you can describe the timing of a breath. The TI, or inspiratory time, and the IE ratio. The TI is a simple concept to understand. It's simply the amount of time spent in inspiration. We usually measure this in seconds or parts of a second. The other part of that equation is the TE, or expiratory time, but since it's passive, we usually don't consider it in any detail. On a ventilator, the TI can be controlled and set by the operator and is associated intimately with the flow rate. If you consider giving a 500 milliliter tidal volume over five seconds, this gives you a flow rate of six liters per minute. Now if you give that 500 milliliters over one second, your flow rate goes up to 30 liters per minute. If you consider the equation of motion, you'll see that this actually would cause the peak inspiratory pressure to rise. On the flip side, if the airway pressure is high, and this is not due to the PEEP or the lung component of the equation of motion, then you can decrease the flow rate by increasing the TI. The IE ratio describes the relationship or ratio between inspiration and exhalation, and it doesn't consider the time element. Now suppose for an example that you have a respiratory cycle of four seconds, and you have an inspiratory size of one second, and an exhalation time of three seconds. This gives you an IE ratio of one to three. If you change the total respiratory cycle from four seconds to two seconds, but maintain the same ratio, then the TI becomes 0 0.5 and the exhalation time is 1.5 seconds. The ratio remains the same, however. You will notice that by decreasing the inspiratory time from one second to half a second, you necessarily cause an increase in the flow rate. If you want to increase the inspiratory time up to two seconds, but don't change the IE ratio, then the TI becomes two seconds and the TE, or exhalation time, becomes six seconds in order to maintain the IE ratio of one to three. As a consequence, in addition to the consequences to flow rate, is a consequence to the respiratory rate. The respiratory rate in this case goes from 15 breaths per minute down to 7.5 breaths per minute. Since you didn't make any changes to the tidal volume, the minute ventilation necessarily also goes down. If you wanted to compensate for this by dialing the respiratory rate back up and want to maintain the same inspiratory time, then the IE ratio has to change in order to accommodate this and will go from a 1 to 3 to a 1 to 1 ratio. This shorter expiratory time may be okay, but it may also be insufficient time to exhale all of the gas. This is one way in which gas trapping happens, which can then perpetuate auto-peeping. If you look on this diagram, you can see an example of where exhalation wasn't complete and the exhalation flow didn't return to zero before the next breath. This is a major clue 
that gas trapping is occurring. There are two circumstances where this really matters. You can increase the inspiratory time and the IE ratio to improve oxygenation up to a mode we call the inverse ratio. More time spent in inhalation permits more oxygenation. On the other hand, if you want to facilitate a complete exhalation and avoid gas trapping, then you decrease the IE ratio to allow more time in the exhalation phase. However, you do need to watch to make sure that you don't have an increase in the expiratory, inspiratory time causing an increased flow rate which may have a consequence on the airway pressures. Now in practicality, the ventilator will control many of these variables on its own, but you need to be aware uh, that changing the inspiratory time may influence the IE ratio and the respiratory rate and as a consequence the airway pressures and the minute ventilation.